In this presentation, we look at configuring the material cost estimate. So what is a material cost est estimate? Sometimes it's also called as a standard cost estimate or a product cost estimate because we create these products as materials as well. So just by the word definition itself, it is used to estimate the cost of the product. And in this terminology, when you mean by product, we're looking at the finished product or the finished goods. Because we do not have to estimate the cost of the raw materials or packaging materials because we already know the price when you procure externally what is the cost of that so we use the material cost estimate to estimate the cost of our finished products you can also use this for semi-finished products but then most of the time we use it for finished products now this material cost estimate can be done with or without a quantity structure so just by the word again, here you can see by quantity structure, I mean there's a structured quantity saying from this item how much quantity you need and so on. So you require the materials to be set up previously. So there's a bit of work around when you do it with quantity structure and comparing that to without quantity structure, a bit less of a work around. So we look at this in more detail, what is with quantity structure and how to do it without quantity structure for the material cost estimates. So that's a series of configurations for the material cost estimate. You can start from defining costing types to valuation variance, date control, quantity structure control, transfer strategy, reference variance, and the costing variance. The ultimately, we would want to define the costing variance, but hence we'll have to do all the setup to come to the costing variant. And we will look at this in more detail. We'll go step by step on how to go and configure this. Let's look at the first step, that is to define the costing types. You define the purpose of a material cost estimate by specifying which field in the material master record the costing results should be transferred to. So I'm just moving my mouse over here so you can understand. What I'm saying is in the material master record, in the costing view 1 and costing view 2, I hope you can recall there's something called a standard price in the costing view 1 and costing view 2, there's something called tax-based price and commercial price. So to which field should the material cost estimate be updated to? So that's the main purpose of defining this costing type. And you also have the option to cost at different valuation levels. Now this is more related towards a material ledger. So if you have the material ledger active, and there are three type of valuation levels you can use legal level group level and profit center level and if you have those active in material ledger you have the option to cost at different valuation levels at well as well i have given a presentation of, about material ledger and how to configure the material ledger you can follow that later in the selection of presentations now we try to recall the link in the cost component structure where we have defined what type of estimate is active or relevant and to which material master record the costing views are updated. So let me show you this in the configuration. So this setting is under the material cost estimate with quantity structure is also available without quantity structure as well. So the menu path is IMG menu path, controlling module, product cost controlling, product cost planning. Then you have material cost estimate with quantity structure. So I'm just going to expand this view for now. So for my example, I'm going to use the material cost estimate with quantity structure. And you can see the costing variance is right up there. And just below that, you have costing within components. So if you just expand that, and then you come out for with defined costing types. The short transaction code for this is OKKI. So let me execute this transaction. And you can see the costing type 1 is given here. The many defaults already created by the system. So you don't have to go and create anything new. I'll just take you through some of them. So you can see costing type 0, 1. That's the standard cost estimate. You can see. Just double click on that. And you come on to these three tabs over here. So you have something called a price update tab, save parameters tab, and a miscellaneous tab. So the first one, price update, mentions standard price, tax base price, Commercial price, these are in the costing 2 view, this in the costing 1 view, and you can have no update or you can use prices other than standard price. So, in this is where you determine the standard cost estimate should go and update to which field in the material master data. So, if I'm going to, by default, just leave it at standard price over here. And then you have this option called valuation view. You have different type of valuation views you can use, legal valuation, group valuation, provision valuation, many other different type of valuations if you have set up your material ledger active. 
so by default it comes up to legal 